Hey everyone, this is Calvet Cody. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick prolapse video. So this video is on the Barth blowout stitch. So we are getting close to calving season and vaginal prolapse is something that happens quite commonly as cows get closer up to calving. Uh, it is heritable uh, to some extent. For the most part, we have to treat those cows and then we can make our culling decisions after. So how it's treated typically is what's called a booner stitch. So we take this needle, this is the booner needle, and we take some umbilical tape, which is essentially like shoelace. We make a purse string type suture around the vagina, push the prolapse back in, and then we make a circumferential stitch and tie that up and the vagina stays in place. When cows are close to calving though, one of the concerns always is that they are going to calve through the stitch and that's a very, very real concern. So when a cow is pregnant, I never ever tie that prolapse up with a standard knot. Now this topic came up because there was a veterinarian on a Facebook page that I follow and he had done the prolapse fix and he had tied a traditional knot and he had told the producer to watch this cow very very closely and if there was any issues uh, or she seemed like she was close up to calving to undo the knot to take out the stitch and then she would calve without issue. But in this case what ended up happening was she calved through her prolapse stitch. So that's her butt and that's what's left of her vagina. Not nice. He did a really, really good job of fixing her up after. I talked to him about the Barth blowout stitch and he'd never heard of it, so I wanted to just make a video so everybody could see the technique that I use. So that's the typical knot that we would tie, just regular uh, series of square knots. And if you try to pull on that, so simulating a cow calving is impossible to break this. No good. What I do is the Barth blowout stitch. So that is this. I use number three non-absorbable suture to tie my knot in a little mattress knot. So there actually isn't a knot of the umbilical tape and there's pretty good holding strength. So that keeps the vaginal prolapse in place. But if the cow did happen to calve, it breaks, it blows out. That went in my mouth a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how I tie it. Take your booner needle and you go around and you make your purse string and then it comes to the knot. So what I do is I use hemostats and instead of tying a knot, I get my tension properly for however big a cow that is, however much suture material I need in that vagina and then I just clamp it off and then from there, I just take my suture needle, this is serpentine suture needle and my number three non-absorbable suture and I just go in and back the other way. So now I have two ends of suture, just on that. And this is where I tie my knot with the suture material. So just regular square knots to tie that off. Fourth rows. Everything's tied up now. Trim the edges. Now we have a Barth blowout stitch. So she goes to calf, she can keep her prolapse in, but as soon as that calf starts to come, it just blows open. And then she has a happy vagina. If you have any questions, just leave some comments. And that's it, pretty simple.